Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much. And today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a trendy and flounce and blouse. So you could see the picture up there. Most people have been sending me requests to actually make and this. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this blouse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be making use of um, and satin, that's doll face satin, that's what I'm going to use to create out the flounce. So I'll show you on I'll show you that in the course of the the video. So this is on two yards from my leftover and fabric. That's what I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to be using my princess dart pattern. You can use any pattern of your choice. You can use a, a, a neck dart and bustier pattern. You could use a shoulder dart bustier pattern. So I'm going to drop the links. I have all of them on my channel so you can do any one you want. So I'm going to place this now and cut it out. After cutting, I'll go and stitch it. After cutting, I'll stitch it and then come back and show you how to cut out the neckline and then we'll start the business of the day. Okay, I finished and cutting out all of my uh, fabric with my pattern. So this is the pattern. I've cut it out. So this is my fabric. This is the softer interfacing that I'm going to be using on my fabric and then I've cut out my lining also. So I'm going to take it now and then I'll go and stitch it. I'll stitch them together. After stitching, I'll then bring it back for us to cut out the neckline. So I'll finish and stitching and my blouse together. The next thing we're going to do now, we're going to start cutting out the neckline. So I'm going to do the front and neckline first before I continue with the back. So if you notice, you notice that the neckline is something like um, a sweetheart neckline. So that's what I'm going to be inserting here. It's going to be like almost like off shoulder, but not off. I'm going to use three inches to do that, or 3.5 inches rather. I'll use a 3.5 inches. I could even do a four inches. So okay, I'll do four inches because it's kind of almost off. So this is four inches. I'll just bring it close. This is the front first. And then the depth of the neckline. So, like I normally say in most of my videos, you can measure to know how deep you want it to be. I'm going to make it up about 7 inches depth or 6.5. Let me do 6.5. So, I'm going to try to see. So, I have a lot of videos on how to do this. You can check them out. And then I'll open it up to see what I have. If I like the outcome, if I feel it's not wide enough, I can open it more. Because like I said, you know, it's almost like an off shoulder. But I don't really want my own to be that off. So I'm just going to use the regular, I'm going to use my regular shoulder measurement to do it. So I'm going to trim out a little bit. But it's not going to be too deep so it does not fall out. So I think I like the outcome of what I have. I'm going to cut out, once I'm done, I'm going to cut out on the back neckline also. I'm going to place the back, my front um, pattern, I'm, I'll place it on the back like this. I'm going to cut out the back neckline before I trim the armhole and trim the other part perfectly well. So this is what I normally do. I'm just going to place it like this. Make sure that the the bust part is up, and then I'm, I'm going to take out my full and body measurements now, and then I'll trim it. So I'm done with uh, measuring out the body. So you use your own applicable measurement. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll measure out the length of my blouse. I'll trim out the excess that I have. So you see my, my blouse, you see this is the back, it is looking and very shaped already and then I'm going to open up the front piece and see what I have. Me looking at a blouse like this, you will know if the blouse is going to be fine. So you could see the shape, it's well shaped out, so I'll look at the, ne the neckline, so I think I like what I have. If I wanted it to, to be off and more, what I would do, I would increase on this part like this. So I'm going to use this to cut out my lining now. 
after cutting out my linings, I'm going to go and join them together. So I'll join the lining separately and then the fabric, I'll join the back and the front. The back piece, I'll join on the zipper side and then join it on the shoulder and then join the side. And then I'll come back and cut out the flounce and then show you how to attach the crinoline to it. Okay guys, so I'm going to cut out the flounce now. So I've laid on my uh, satin on the table. So I folded it in two. So I measured out the length. I, what I have here is um, 58 inches. So when you divide and 58 in total, you have 29. So I'm just going to come to this point. I'm going to mark this 29 inches. I want to share it in total. So I'm just going to place it like this now. So <clears throat> everything that I'm going to do, this is going to be my boundary. I'm going to stop here for the first set. So I'm going to come here now. I'm trying to measure out and what I have. So I have 29 inches. So when you divide and 29, I'm trying to get to get the center of this. So I have 14 and a half. So this is uh, my 14 and a half here. I'm trying to get the middle the, that's in the center center. So I'll measure this point from here. I have 34 inches. So which is uh, 17. So the center is 17. So I'll place it like this and then get out the center. So you see the center, it, it corresponds with um, the first um, part. So this is like the middle now. So I'm just going to come to this um, point like this and then I'll measure out uh, 2 inches. So the width of what I'm going to be doing is about um, 4 and a half inches. So I'm getting my 4 and a half inches now. So you can see from this point like this. So from this point now, so I'm coming to the next uh, layer now. So you see that we're almost at this line. So this is the last one we're going to do for this. So I'm just going to explain it now. Cutting out a circle and flounce like this is really simple. All you have to do is just get the middle of your fabric, the fabric that you want to make use of. Once you get the middle, you mark on the center. So after marking on the center, you measure at two inches. So once you measure at two inches, you're just going to measure out two inches and just make a curve like this. This is just like the simplest and easiest way. You measure out the center and then measure two inches from the center and then you mark it out like this. Once you mark it out, the first layer from this side, you will, if you are going to be doing a flounce of like three inches, then you'll be able to get your three inches. But since I'm making a bigger flounce, if it was three inches now, just from this um, point like this, I'll start going and then start marking out my three, three inches. But since it is a bigger flounce, well, after getting out my two inches from this point, I'm still going to have some inches that is not up to the four and a half inches that I want, which is like three and a half. So from this point now, from this point like this, once I get to this point, I'm just going to bring my my tape to this point again, and then this part is three and a half. And then from this point, I start having my four, four and a half. So you see on this other side, now you see I have my four and a half. You just start marking it round from this center. This part, this um, first part, you will not get your full measurement, so you just ignore that part. But if you are using it, doing a smaller measurement, you get to see, I'm trying to explain it so it will be easy for you. So you see this part, I have my four and a half. So you see from all these parts now, I have it. So you just keep measuring it around. From, after, when you finish the first line, you go to the second one. And then you keep going like that until you exhaust the whole of your fabric. So I'm going to cut this out now. So I'm, I'm leaving this part. I'm not cutting this. I'll cut this out. Because I'm going to sew and turn. So you see, both there is already folded into two. So I'll use one to turn out the other one. So this same um, flounce now, I'm going to replicate cut it on this side. I'm just going to fold it like this. You see, it's really as uh, simple and easy. So now we're going to cut out now. So I'm going to have uh, four layers now. So I'll start and cutting from this point here like this. A notch here now. So I'm going to start cutting from this point now. Okay, guys. So you could see I have finished cutting out my flan. So you see, it really looks so big and long. So you see. So it's looking so beautiful. So you see, it's really a very spiral. So the next thing we're going to do now. So I have four pieces here. 
So I'm going to sew two, sew them two, two, I'll turn them. And then I'm going to be putting my crinoline. So I'm going to, and what I'm going to do, like I said, I have two, four pieces here. I'm going to, these two pieces that I have here, I'm going to put gum stay on it. So after I'll put gum stay just on two pieces, and then I'm going to sew and turn. And then I'll attach my crinoline to it. So I'll show you when I'm attaching it on the, my, on my machine. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so welcome back guys. So I'm going to start and stitching now. That's the my flounce. I'm going to I'm be turning them. So I'll take this is the right side and then this other side also. So this is the right side facing right side. I'm just going to place it like this. And then I'll take uh, my crinoline. I'll just and um, place it like this. So this crinoline that I'm using is actually at 2 inches, so I just want it to be at the, the tip. So you can and buy um, the one of about 5 inches. So I'm just going to and take place like this. And then I'm going to start stitching. I'm going to, so you see what I have, I'm going to do a top stitch now, I'm going to top stitch it on this point, so I just want you to see it here. So in order for me to stand it down, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my crinoline, I'll bend it like this to this side, and then I'm going to stitch on top, so you see what I'm doing like this now, I'll bend it to this side like this. And then I'll start stitching to one side. See what I'm doing? I'm bending the crinoline to one side and then top stitching it. So I'm just going to sew that all through. And then when I'm done, I'll iron it. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to go and start attaching it onto the neckline. And we're going to attach it from this point like this to the shoulder. And then we're going to come to the back part. But we're going to stop it just and before the zipper so i'm going to take it to the machine now we're going to do that on the machine okay so i finished and stitching this first one i'm going to show you how i did it you can decide to do it one you can decide to double it so it depends on what you actually want so i trimmed the, the tips of my crinoline i had to just and trim it a little bit just to have and these are pointed edges so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to place them like this I'm going to start fixing from this point. So as I'm fixing, I'm trying to look at it because you see the way it's looking. When I uh, attach the line into this side, when the line pulls it down, this side is going to stand. It's, it's, it will now be up like this. So that's just the essence of that. So I'm trying to uh, fix the second one also. So you saw what I did with this one. I fixed it up to the zipper allowance part, but I stopped it just... Um, before and the allowance itself because I don't want it to enter into the zipper so I'm going to take this one like this also so I'm just trying to manipulate it properly so I'm going to start stitching I'm just trying to place it properly before I start so I had to trim it you can decide not to trim you can trim it depends on what you want so as I'm going to stitch it I'm going to stitch it along on the neckline like this as i'm stitching it i'm trying to check it to make sure when i fix the lining on the inside it's going to be standing like this so when the lining pulls it down automatically it comes up like this so that's just the like the essence so i'm trying to i'm going to stitch it bit by bit i'm going to stitch it bit by bit i'm going to start from this point i'll stitch it to this neckline point I'm just trying to make sure everything is set. So you see the way my hand, you see the way my hand is bending it now. So I'm trying to bend it just to, to sew the tip where the crinoline, I've trimmed out the crinoline from. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to stitch it up to come to this point. So 
So like I said, I'll stitch it bit by bit. You see the way I'm standing? I'm just making it to stand like this, to, to, to stitch it. So that's what will give it that standing effect. So when I get to this and our curve on the neckline, I'm going to just uh, use it to navigate the tiny curve of my neckline. I'll use it to navigate it down. So you see the way I'm bending my hand, trying to navigate it to the sweet heart part a little bit like this. So you see my neckline, see from the down part, I'm using my hand to place it and then I'm trying to navigate it and prop it. So for it to navigate and come to this and point where this other one is, so you see both of them. So I'm going to, once I get to that point, I'm going to stop it now. So I'm trying to pull it in properly. So I'm going to do it bit by bit. I'll continue on this part. So as I'm stitching, I'm making sure I'm making I'm making use of my hand for it to stand. So once I'm done from the shoulder part backward, that side is going to be falling down because automatically your shoulder is going to unbalance that part up. So I'm trying to navigate it. I'm just trying to explain it because this is just like the the highlight of this. Um, you see it because of the crinoline naturally on its own is bending. You understand it's folding naturally on its own because there's a crinoline on it so i'm going to get to this point now the zipper allowance point so i'm just trying to i'm just trying to to hold it so the other ones we're going to layer them around the armhole parts so you are going to see as we do that just i'll continue and what you see my hand the way my hand is is bending and stitching you see it's standing already and stitching along the neckline and point stitching along the neckline point so i'm just trying to manipulate it a little bit a little bit so you see what i'm doing i'm placing it and i'm sitting it both of them i'm, I'm sitting them down and the crinoline is standing inside and then stitching it on the neck and line and point okay so i finished stitching so, so i'm just trying to check so i'm going to cut out this excess that i have again i'm going to cut it out that's what i'm going to use on the armhole part so let me cut it out and then work i'll come and start doing the one on the armhole part okay so i just I realized it will be easy and better for me to join uh, my lining first so for me to turn the fat the dress i'm going to turn the blouse inside out and then before i come and start uh, attaching the one on the armhole area before i fix and uh, the sleeves on it so i'm going to open up my lining now and then i'm going to place and turn from the neckline and then from the down part okay everyone so i, I finished and uh, connecting the one on the neckline part so i finished and uh, joining the line so you see how it is looking so you see it's looking and uh, really good from this point so after turning it with the line i'm going to show you the inside now so you see the inside how it's looking so the lining is pulling it down now so it is standing and properly the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to uh, cut out and sleeve so i'm going to share uh, the flounce i will share it into two one for one sleeve and then the other one for another sleeve so and then i have this one also left so i've shared this into two so here's what i'm going to do now and then after cutting out my sleeve i finish and i just i cut out a basic and pencil sleeve so i have and i'm going to drop the link on the description box in case you don't know how to to cut out a basic and pencil sleeve so i've cut out a basic pencil sleeve so here's what i'm going to do Here's what I'm going to do to this sleeve. I'm going to take and this, and then I'm going to fix this. I want it and standing on top. Once I'm done, I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to fix it from the inside on my sleeve. I'm not turning it. I'm just going to stitch it on top. So when I fix my sleeve to my dress, this part is going to be is going to be standing on top like this so i'm going to show you as i do that okay guys welcome back to the table so on on the on fixing the sleeve so i fixed one of the sleeve so i'm just going to show it to you now so you see how it is looking so i fixed on one of the sleeves 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you I had to do it first so I'll be able to explain it and properly to you. So I'm going to use and the second one now to show you how I came up, how I got this thing. So you see it is looking and so fine. So I like the result. So I'm not done yet. This um, part I'm still going to I'm still going to tuck it in a little bit as I'm going to because it's not you know this part did not enter into the the full um into the arm hole. So I'm going to just uh, manipulate it a little bit down there with my machine so you see what i have so this is the one that has crinoline this one does not have a crinoline so you can decide to put crinoline on all of them so i'll just drop this on the side now and then let's work on this uh, one here here's my sleeve so i've had i made and a couple some couple of lines here but I'm not going to, I realized that it was too long, so I'm going to start um, from the up part. So this is the one that has crinoline, that's the one we're going to use. I'm just going to show them, so that's the one we're going to use for this one that is on the top part of the sleeve. This is this one. So, you, like I said, you can use, add crinoline to all of them, depends on what you actually want. So this is what I have from my leftover uh, flounce. This one does not have crinoline. So I'm just going to cut out a bit because if you notice, I have about three layers there. So I'm just going to cut out a bit from this. So I'm going to start working now. I'm going to start with this one. This one is the longest. So I just cut out a little bit, just made this a little bit longer than this. This is the one that I'm going to attach last on the sleeve, the one with the crinoline. So I'll keep it on the side and then let's just get and start it. So from this point, here is what we're going to be working on. Basically, what we are going to be working on is just this round armhole area of our sleeve. So what I did from this point, I'm not going to get to the end. I'm going to stop it on this arm point, just like about one inch, about one inch to the side of my sleeve, because I'm going to be stitching the and this entire part. So this is one inch, and then from this arm part also, this is one inch. I'm going to stop it there and then for the, the depth of what, what I'm going to be coming to, I'm going to come to about 2.5 inches. That's from this armhole point like this, about 2.5 inches. That's where I'm going to put the first one. I'm going to connect it like this from this point like this to this um, point. And then the other one is going to be on top and then the third one is going to be down there. It's going to be up, sorry. So I'm going to start. The, in, in fixing this flounce, it's just all about a manipulation. You just have to manipulate it a lot. Mine, once you, if you have a crinoline on your own, it will be easier. It will, it will be easier. So here's what you're going to do. I'm just going to fold. I'm trying to fold the edge. Because I did not close the edge, so you can decide to close the edge. Since I did not close the edge, so I'm just going to tuck it in, and then I'm going to start stitching it. So I just want you to watch and closely how I'm going to be doing the stitching. You just use your, you see the way it is standing on its own. So you just be stitching it like that, following the line. So once I get to that point, I'm going to stop. So you see, for if. I had a crinoline now you see it, which is just going to stand so uh, high like this but because I don't have crinoline even though it's still standing it's okay but if you had uh, if I had crinoline on it it will stand more but that's just what I'm trying to say you see it to stand more on its own so I have some excess here I'm going to leave that I'll come back to it so I'll take the second one I'll take this second one like this and then I'm going to place it on top. So I'll fold just almost repeating the same and process again. And then I'll start and from this time I'll just move like half an inch upwards a little bit. Okay, so you see what we have. You see it's standing on its own. So I'm, I'm now I'm going to do the third one. This is the one that I'm, I'm, I use on crinoline. So that's the one I'm going to put on top. So this one I'm going to um, 
So I'm just going to cut out the excess thread that I have. So this one now is going to be okay. It's going to be closer to this side. So that's what is going to cover everything up. So I'm just going to fold this side again like this. And then I'm going to start stitching. This time I really don't need to do any uh, much manipulation because it has crinoline. So on its own, it's just going to stand naturally. So that's why and uh, the that's the effect of um, crinoline on on this kind of uh, flounce. It it actually uh, makes it to come out um, better. So I'm going to start uh, stitching now. So I'm going to start from the same um, point. See, the crinoline it is standing on its own so i really don't need a much that much uh, of manipulation in it so it will just stand naturally so this one i'm going to bring it to the edge of my sleeve that's the armhole i'm bringing it so close to the edge so if you have excess you can pleat it a little bit once if you have excess you just you pleat it a little bit it just goes up and down up and down like this so it's as i'm walking along i'm checking what i have left for me to know how much twist i need to give it so it just once you give it a twist like this you see it's already folding it has the fold naturally so just give it a little twist on top it folds in so i finished teaching so what i'm going to do now so you see it's on its own so you can add more layers so it depends on how many layers you actually want to add you see it on its own it's standing because this is the one that has the crinoline the other ones are standing but the crinoline on the effect is much and better so what i'm going to do i'm going to take out my full and sleeve and measurement i'll just fold it and then measure out my full and sleeve measurement So I'm going to stitch it into the armhole and point. That's the the M of the sleeve. You see what I have? It's looking so beautiful. You see it. So like I said, you can add more layers, and then your flounce you can make it and bigger. That's the width of what I have. Mine is a little bit smaller, so you could make it bigger. So the first you just choose what you actually want. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect my sleeve. I'm going to fix my sleeve. So after fixing the sleeve, I'll fix the zipper. So guys, so you can see, so this is the back. You see how the back is looking like. So I fixed the, I fixed it. So I'm just, and once I'm done, I'll just go and give it a good iron to straighten out this part a little a bit. And then that's the down part. And then you see the sleeve and part that I was talking about. So you see the, this is the part that I added, the crinoline, and then this is the neckline so guys so this is it so after this video now you should be able to um sew any um, flounce blouse, blouse of your choice so guys i've come to the end of this um, video illustration if you find it helpful you could see you could actually stand this when, when you put it on you can actually decide to raise it up however you want to because of the crinoline so so if you find it helpful uh hit on the like button subscribe if you have not done so so thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. It's tired.